Good morning and welcome to the Houston Minority Business Development Agency's virtual subs and sandwiches. Uh, today we have Skanska, one of our corporate partners presenting, and we are excited to hear what they have to offer. I am Marchette Turner, and I serve as the director of the Houston MBDA. Our subs and sandwiches platform is one of our premier programs, and we are always excited to inform you about opportunities that await you, and certainly we hope you're taking advantage of these opportunities. During today's webinar, all attendees will be in listen-only mode, and there will be Q&A at the end of this session where my team and I will be asking Skanska the questions that you yourself type into the chat. So be thinking of those questions as you listen to the, this webinar and type those questions in the chat and we'll get to them at the end um, of the session. This presentation is being recorded and will be made available to all registered participants today. Of course, my MBDA team is here and they are Ms. Jessica Vasquez, who serves as our program coordinator, Ms. Deidre Sutton, who serves as our business advisor, Tanya McGilber, another business advisor, uh, Ms. Joni Hall, who is a business trainer. You don't see her or Austin on the screen, but that's okay. They're a part of us as well. Um, and again, Austin Tanette also serves as a business trainer. So I will now turn it over to Ms. Joycelyn Yu, who serves as the National Director of Supplier Diversity for Skanska. Well, yeah, thank you all for, for joining. Um, the, uh, Skanska has been a, um, a partner with HSC on the Subs and Sandwiches. This is my, I think, my personal third time doing this. So um, thank you all for, uh, for attending. Um, and hopefully you have a sandwich next to you, right? <laughs> next slide, please. So um, we'll do uh, uh, introductions for the team, Skanska's team. So my name is uh, Smir Bishevich. I'm the pre-construction director for Skanska. Uh, Joyce is hopefully gonna join on um, pretty soon, but she's our national director for supply diversity. And Eric, um, you wanna introduce yourself as well? Yeah, so I'm Eric Mendez, uh, Senior Pre-Construction Engineer for Skanska, part of the Pre-Construction Group. So uh, what we're going to review today is just uh, we're going to give you some information about ourselves if y'all don't know us. Uh, we'll talk about our diversity program. Uh, we'll touch base on upcoming projects, um, how to build relationships with us, pre-qualifications, um, and then we'll open it up for a Q and A's, like uh, like we touched base in, uh, initially. Next slide, please. So uh, Skanska. So if you don't know us, we're a, a global company. Uh, we're uh, our home office is in uh, Sweden, Stockholm. So if you can see the map, you can kind of see where we do business. So uh, of course, Sweden, Norway. Um, England, uh, just to name a few, I won't go into every uh, every uh, country, but um, also the U.S., right? Uh, within the U.S., we do have three business units. We have uh, Skanska Civil, which uh, focuses on um, civil work, of course. We do not have that in, uh, in Houston or Texas in general. Uh, most of our civil um, departments are on the uh, East Coast and West Coast, not Central. Um, but we also have Skanska Commercial Development, which is our development arm. Um, all in all, we have over 28,000 um, uh, employees. We've been in business for 135 years. We do about uh, $15 million, $50 billion, $15 billion, sorry, globally. Um, in the U.S., uh, we, uh, we were about a $7, million, $7 billion company, and again, we, we have three business units. Um, in the US. Next slide, please. So um, this slide just shows the iconic projects we've done in Houston. So the, the first one is the Reliance Stadium. Um, that was a while back, of course, but uh, uh, we were part in constructing the, the, the Texas Stadium. The The building in the middle is a uh, Current actually, it's it's a 28-story high-rise building right across Discovery Green. It's in construction, so that's the construction picture right now. Uh, we're we're gearing up to finish and turn over that building. It is a core and shell. Uh, this is part of our development project. Um, 
but yeah, uh, within a couple of months, we'll be able to turn it over to, to our uh, uh, leasing group. Um, the other one is where we're officing out of right now, where I'm officing is a Capitol Tower. It is in the downtown. It's a, a 30, uh, 34 story building. Um, and some um, some projects we've done with HEC is the 610 Westwood parking garage. Um, that's the image right there. And we've also, we also did the San Jacinto renovations and the uh, HEC's main campus. Um, but all in all, uh, in, in Texas, we have three offices. We have an office in Houston, where uh, myself and Eric sit. We have an office in uh, San Antonio and an office in North Texas where Joyce sits. Uh, as a company in, in Texas, uh, we bring in about $265 million. That was our revenue last year. Um, and in Texas, we've been in business since 1964. Uh, our core markets, our higher education, healthcare, light industrial, um, that image right in between the stadium and the parking garage is um, a, a campus we're working on for a confidential client, which is light industrial, um, municipal, commercial, aviation, and life science. Next slide, please. Joyce, I'm hoping your, uh, your audio is working now. I, I think we just need to make our panelists with uh she just needs to unmute. She's muted. Okay. Muted, yeah. She's a panelist. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you yeah. Yeah, she's calling in now. Okay. Okay. I think uh, if we could come back on the diversity, uh, we could keep going rolling through if you guys don't mind. Um, uh, so, so Joy says she's on the phone. She's I think, on her phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I think we had to unmute our actual phone, right? Yeah, it's too much. Okay, okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Apologies for the technical technical difficulties this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm Joyce Lynn Yu. I'm with our supplier diversity program here at Skanska. Um, and you know, thank you for having us. We're very excited to meet all of you and really help you learn about how to do business um, with us. So our supplier diversity program, actually long before 2004, um, we actually have integrated supplier diversity within our culture at Skanska, but we actually formalized the program across the country. So we basically have a supplier diversity manager in almost every office which we have, um, where we have press, press, presence. Um, so in Texas, uh, I actually have been the interim supplier diversity lead while we are actually actively looking for a supplier diversity manager supporting the three markets in Dallas, um, Houston, and San Antonio. Uh, we do have a uh, program in terms of how we conduct our outreach. So you'll be learning about how to get pre-qualified, learning about the opportunities. But other than that, the subcontractor development is our program that we have. Um, you know, it's just important to us to uh, support um, when there just isn't a contract in front of us. So again, subcontractor development allows us to increase our, our net in terms of diverse firms to work with. And so when I talk about diverse firms, um, there are different certifications, um, and it depends on which client or owner that we're speaking to. So it could be the um, state hub certification, or it could be the National Minority Supplier Development Council, we bank and so forth. So we um, promote actually all of the uh, DBE certifications, but it comes into play depending on who the client and owner is, which we are partnering with in terms of what they accept. Um, next slide, please. So our construction management building blocks, um, it's a 10 week program um, in which we 
uh, actually make this available to vendors who are interested about learning more about the construction industry and how to do business with Skanska. Um, you'll learn about our, you know, systems, which we leverage and utilize. Um, building connected, everything that you'll need um, in order to equip yourself to uh, compete for uh, procurement opportunities with us. So we will be launching a CMBB program um, towards the fall, uh, end of fall of this year for Texas. And so if you are interested in participating, um, you know, feel free to reach back out to me so that I can get you on the list. And, you know, these courses are, are actually facilitated and instructed by um, our Skanska internal um, team. So whether it's talking about Procore or pre-qualification, scheduling, um, it, this is all led by our internal um, Skanska team. And it also gives you access to develop relationships. So relationships are key um, in terms of learning about the different opportunities. But, you know, I think, you know, relationship building is everything. Um, and the, in this 10 week course, they're actually held either in person or virtually. So it's about a hybrid. So we typically um, will do maybe half the classes in person and then half of them, um, you know, hybrid over, you know, the uh, internet. So again, more to come on the construction management building blocks program. Thank you, Joyce. Um, so these are upcoming projects. So we are showing four right now. Um, the first one is MD Anderson, which is a design build um, with, uh, with our um, designer group. Uh, this is going to be the Northwest expansion. Uh, it's gonna be the new cancer center. Um, we don't know exactly where the site is. That's why um, at, um, the project hasn't officially kicked off because the site still needs to be secured. But uh, other than that, um, it is a $93 million and it is an 18 month design duration. So uh, it's gonna require a lot of budgeting from subcontractors, but in terms of construction, we're looking at uh, sometime in um, 25 to 26, end of 25 to 26 and construction start. The, the second one is uh, Harris County Riverside. Um, this project, we're in 50% CDs right now. Um, uh, I just received budgets, um, so if you did not receive an invite from us um, on this project, make sure you reach out to me and I'll invite you. Uh, but we are going for GMP for subcontractor award in October. Um, so this is something to look out on. Um, we do have a um, uh, WBE goal of 25%, and it's definitely achievable on this project in my opinion. Uh, our budget on this is 19.5 million, um, and the construction start is going to or construction will start um, beginning of 24 on this project. Uh, the one in the middle, or the third, uh, I'm sorry, is a multi-use building. It's uh, got retail on the first and second floor, um, garage uh, in the podium, and then office building in the pink, you see that? It's pink glass. <laughs> and then um, a multi-family right above that. So this is in Montrose. Uh, it's uh, where the old specs used to be. The, we own that site. Skanska uh, owns the site, and we're the developer developing this building. I can't share the project value uh, because it is confidential, but uh, we're looking to start construction um, third quarter of 24. Uh, we will receive DD drawings uh, towards the, uh, November of this year. So if you're interested in pricing or just looking at the drawings and, and kind of familiarizing yourself with the, the plans, please reach out to me and I'll get you invited. Um, and the last one, it is a confidential client, um, but um, um, they are building a very large di distribution center, um, and we will be fitting out the project. So inside the actual distribution center, we'll be furnishing all the mechanical systems, all the electrical systems. Um, there will be office fit out as well. So um, approximate value there is 30 million, um, and we're looking to start in 24 on that. Again, if you all have any questions on any of these projects, uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, and I can share more information. Um, so with our confidential client, uh, we just wanted to share um, the, the, the part of building out the actual um, distribution center, uh, the office and the systems is, is about 30 million, but the project in whole, we, there's other areas that we're doing things uh, and, and improvements on is 64 million. 
So on this project specifically, the, the owner didn't really have a um, MWBE goal. So within partnering with them, and we actually partnered with uh, a joint venture, any group, which, which is uh, HUB certified and is a um, MWBE. Um, so they're, uh, they're also the contractor with, with Skanska. Um, we're, we're, we're developing what goal we're gonna hit on this project. We're not gonna go and just you know, uh, use the subcontractors that, that either um, that the owners use in the past or, or, or uh, we've used in the past for this type of construction use. We're, we're definitely gonna open it up to all, all participants in the public as long as you're able to um, uh, sign the ARC confidentially agreement. But we're, we're developing the, our goal with the owner um, and we're not gonna let this, uh, we're, we're not looking for 0% here. Uh, it's gonna be within uh, the 20s, 20 to 25 range, just like on our Harris County projects and uh, HCC projects. All right, well, you've heard how large of a company we are. You've heard uh, some of the projects we have going on. And I'm sure you're wondering by now, how do we get on those projects? So I'm gonna help you out with that. Um, just starting off high level, there's four steps you can take. Um, and this is the pre-qualification process. So step one, very simple. Um, you access our website. And in the following slides, I will show you how to do that. But once you access our website, you request the pre-qualification invitation. Step two will be to wait for the email from the pre our pre-qualification department. Um, step three will be to either update or create a Building Connected account. Uh, Building Connected is where we send out all the drawings and the project information. And then step four will be to actually fill out the questionnaire and provide the information required so that we can pre-qualify you as a contractor with us. So step one, this is our website. Um, we have a QR code here and we have the URL as well. So feel free to take screenshots of that. Um, th so this is uh, over on the right is what our website will look like. And we've got five uh, bullet points in the green boxes. Next slide, please. So here's a closer view of that. Um, box number one and box number two is what we are talking about right now. Uh, so building connected would be box number one where you can go in and double check your uh, account information, update that if you already have one or create one if you don't have one. Uh, and step two will be what you click on to request a pre-qualification. Um, we do have box three, four, and five, which is uh, additional information. So number three will be our vendor diversity program. You can learn more about that there. Um, number four will be our public projects. So every time we upload a project that is public, um, you can go to, through this link and, and view it there if you were not invited to the project. Um, and then uh, box number five would be to uh, look at all our other projects in, in other states and in just in the U.S. overall. Next slide, please. And, and, and just, just to point out, we use Building Connected. I'm sure everybody, or hopefully you are familiar with it, uh, so, to solicit and share drawings. Um, going through different different systems and different softwares, we found Building Connect is the, the, the best, and actually uh, it opens our um, our eyes to a lot of other other um, contractors that are out there because it makes recommendations for the scope and so forth. So if if you're not familiar with it, please uh, familiar familiarize yourself with Building Connect. I'm per I, I believe that's who the most of the general contractors uh, uh, use um, for solicit solicitation. Yes, and uh, so for pre-qualification, once you click on that green box, this is what it will look like for the actual request for pre-qualification. So you just click on there, fill out your company information, name, address, and submit. Next slide. So uh, to work with us, you will fall in one of these three categories. Um, so for projects up to $500,000, um, all you need to do is provide the company information, and then we will take it from there and verify your safety and um, look at your company overall and approve you up to $500,000.
The next category will be up to $2 million. And this is where you'll need to provide some more information, such as a questionnaire, surety letter, credit references, project references, OSHA logs, EMR letters, and safety information. Once you're there, um, if you add on, sorry, can you go back one more? Uh, we also have a category for projects $2 million and up to $100 million. And the only additional item will be a CPA audited or reviewed financial statement. So we can see what, how, you know, how much cash you have on hand, if you're willing, you know, if, if, if you will be able to survive any issues or et cetera. Next slide, and, please. And just, just to point out here, the reason why we go through the qualification process is to make sure that you're equipped to do an executed project for the, for the contract value. Skanska, uh, as a company, we're able to uh, purchase uh, a subcontractor default insurance. Um, at a lower cost than most people's, uh, most subcontractors bond. So that is also a savings to the owner. So this is kind of our, our process as well to make sure that you can do the work for, uh, for what you're bidding, right? That, that you're set up to do the work. And it's basically the same information you'll be providing to your bond company, right? So instead of bond, providing a bond through your bonding agency, we're, we're buying insurance to protect you and protect the owner. And uh, in addition to that, once you're in Building Connected, make sure you uh, provide your certifications on there. Um, it'll populate all your certifications, and of course, that helps out tremendously. So make sure you do that once you fill that out. Next slide. So a few things to remember. Um, you should uh, keep in mind that you need to re renew yearly. Some of them go 18 months or two years, but just try to um, just check in on your uh, pre-qualification every year. Um, the qualification is valid nationally. So if you register with us in Houston, you can work on any of our, of our other states. Um, once you receive that email confirmation with your limit, um, you know, keep, keep in mind, save the date for next year to, to pre-qualify again. And then uh, share that information with us so we know what kind of uh, limits you have we know what, what kind of works you can work with and, um, you know, follow up with us, primary contacts, pre-construction team, um, so that, uh, yeah, just always follow up with us. Um, it never hurts to follow up with us. We, um, if you have any questions when we send out projects, it's a, if you need more time, let us know. I mean, we're here to work with you. You, you want to work with us. Um, so let's work together. Next slide. And for the pre-qualification uh, process, so this is our, um, our person in charge of that department, it's Michelle. So we have her email right here. If you have any, other, any questions through the pre-qualification process, make sure to reach out to her. That's all I have. All right, thank you so much, Joy, Esmir, and Eric. Uh, we got a lot of information, so thank you again for that. Uh, Tanya, are there any questions in the chat? Yes, absolutely. Um, there is a question here. Um, someone's asking if you guys did the old Houston Club. Um, we the, yeah, we demoed the old Houston Club. <laughs> okay, that's historical. And here's a question here. Where do we reach out to receive RFQ and the ability to bid with Scanska? So, so um, to um, request pre-qualification access and information, you would uh, reach out to Michelle. If you would like to be added to a bid list um, to one of the projects I mentioned, you, you reach out to me. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm sure that these slides will be shared, right? I don't know if people took note of my email, um, but definitely reach out to me and I'll invite you to the list. Okay. And I just want to share that uh, once you're pre-qualified as a company and you've gone in to building connected and added your company information, you'll automatically populate at the top of our list when we send out invitations. So of course, keep keep in contact with us, but uh, we will also see you and you'll be pre-qualified with us and everything will be set up and just ready to click on your name and send you an invitation. Joy, can you do me a favor and check uh, your chat messages, please? Tanya, go ahead. Okay, ask for crane usage, do you crave 
um, out smaller crane packages, or how do I get the opportunities? I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, yeah, um, uh, I, I understand that. Um, typically, it all depends what kind of building it is, right? Um, if it is a uh, uh, low rise or low story building, three or four or five stories, we'll buy out the, the crane with the rector. Um, and anything mid rise as well, we'd most likely would buy out the crane with the rector. If it gets um, to high rise level where it makes sense for us to buy the crane or not buy out the crane, we're not going to buy a crane. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll do that. Or if it makes sense to uh, have the concrete subcontract to supply the crane, we will. It all depends again on on the on the purchasing um, uh, strength that we have for the, each specific project. Every project is not the same, but for the most part, on our low rise uh, buildings, we do. Um, uh, subcontract out the crane with uh, with erectors. If you would like to know who's bidding it in terms of erection, if it's a steel building or if it's a concrete building, and it's it's a, we need a, a crane for them as well, uh, we're happy to share that information. Right? You don't most. Of, it's just, this is also um, uh, a good way to communicate and uh, help each other out. Right? Just because you might not be able to provide a scope for Skanska, you could provide a scope for one of our subcontractors. We're going to use in the project. So we're willing to, to, to let you all know if you're a, a sub tier, um, who our subcontractors are and who are they bidding so you can reach out to them and get uh, provide your quotes to them. Thank you. Are there any opportunities for a freight broker? Unfortunately, we, we do not um, use a freight agency to um, deliver goods. Our contractors set up where we uh, buy materials shipped directly to the job site. It just, it comes with the insurance um, uh, side of it as well. So we do not, um, unfortunately we do not uh, buy out freight. Okay. Separately. Question about concrete. Um, for concrete cutting, is there a separate package or do they bid or utility work? Wait a minute. Do they bid the entire concrete package? Yeah, it moved on me, sorry. Yeah, um, there's there there might be specific projects where we just subcontracted the, the saw cutting uh, because there's such there's so much of it, right? But typically, if if you're asking about saw cut joints in the slab right after the slab is poured, we we buy that out with the concrete subcontractor because at the end of the day, we want one person to hold in the warranty. Um, again. Um, you could definitely share your information and if the job fits right, if we're, if we're buying out the saw cutting separately uh, for a demo project, we'll, we'll invite you. Um, but um, most of the times for any new construction where there's no demo required, we, we buy all the saw, cut, saw cutting with, with the subcontractor just turnkey. Um, here's a question on the bid opportunities. Do you have land prep dirt work or utility work for the subs? Yes, we actually, uh, if, if you're a dirt work utility subcontractor, uh, we're in need of that trade. So definitely reach out to me. Good. And um, here's a question. I guess we can generalize this. Do you have a department for other ancillary services such as printing needs and promotional products, marketing? Joyce, you want to you want to answer that? I know that. Um, We've in the past worked with um, MWE certified vendors uh, for that specific mm -hmm. uh, materials think, <laughs> uh, yeah. globally or uh, nation nationwide. So, uh, well, it depends on when our contract is up. But again, if you are interested, um, you know, log on, register in Building Connected. We leverage that list when um, our contracts are up for renewal. Um, besides the pre-qualification process for sub work, does Skanska have a subcontractor growth program, which allows us to better work within your processes and grow with Skanska? Joyce, you want to you want to take that one as well? I think you kind of touched touched on that with the building blocks, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the construction management building block. So that is our subcontracting 
program that we do offer. And we typically do that once a year in each region. Um, I know that we're due to have one um, prior to COVID. Like I said, we had, we were, con we were facilitating that all in person. But, you know, post COVID, we are actually doing that in a hybrid format. So I did put my email address um, in the chat. And so if you are interested in that program, um, you know, feel free to email me, but really that gives you insight and it's a huge, it's a, it's a 10 week curriculum that really goes through every single component from legal to scheduling to bidding to getting awareness of our systems and what we utilize. So that really is purely educational, but we are factoring in bringing in um, some of our major, um, you know, trades. So that way, if you're not, you know, prepared or ready to do business with Skanska directly, we are bringing some of our bigger prime vendors to facilitate those relationships. But we are, that is our, our program. Um, I have a question. Joycelyn, are you all successful in meeting or exceeding your MBE goals on your projects? Yes, we actually have a really good track record with our goals. And when I, when I say goals, um, this is related to our partnerships with different clients and owners. And so it, it depends on which state we're in, which pro, how the program, how the project is also being funded. So if it's federally funded, there are different goals that are associated to that. Um, we track both also non subcontractor goals across the country as well. But just know that's why I was mentioning the different certifications earlier. Um, and, and again, I'm not promoting one specific certification. Um, it, it really depends on who the owner and client, which we are working with in terms of which um, certification they accept. Thank you. There doesn't appear to be any more uh, questions in the chat. Um, somebody just typed in goals, if any. I don't. Can you expound on that? Um, whoever typed that. Someone put in. What are your pain points in regard to project issues related to subcontract subcontractor and or contract goals, if any? Points. Um. I'm I'm not sure what the question is really referring to. Um, and then for the person who's asking about construction management building blocks, if you could contact uh, Joycelyn Yu, she put her email there. Uh, so if you could capture it uh, at Joycelyn. Uh, uh, dot you at skanska.com capture it from the chat. She can certainly give you um, information. I think the person was asking joy. Um, when does the construction management building blocks program start? Yeah, we don't have a definitive date just yet. Like I said, we are working with. On backfilling our supplier diversity manager local role. And so once we have that resource on board, then we will be facilitating and coordinating the CMBB program. Gotcha. Yeah, but it is a priority. So there is um, there has been interest from um, various organizations and, you know, so we will prioritize, um, you know, executing that program. And then I think this is a great question. Um, does Gaska have a mentor protege program? Not in a formalized mentor protege program. I know that there are, we've been coaching. Um, and again, this is, it, it could be someone from pre-con or, or an account manager. And I know that, you know, based on, like, like I said, we are a very relationship-based company. So it really depends on what the needs are. Um, and there are, we, I've seen examples of a diverse DBE firm who has grown with us. Um, you know, based on relationships they've built with the various members um, from Skanska. So, but not a formalized um, mentor protege program. And if there is, I mean, like I said, the different organizations which we partner with, um, they do have mentor protege programs. So I know that we have um, signed up um, through, you know, various business advocacy organizations. 
Well, I think that is about it. Thank you so much, Skanska. Of course, you know, we value your uh, corporate partnership and certainly uh, look to do even more uh, with you in the future. Um, and certainly you'll get emails from us on all the good stuff that we're doing and what we want you to be a part of. So again, thank you all so much. And uh, Joy, let's talk sometime uh, this afternoon for sure.